One of the earliest photos taken of the elephant's foot ended up in a photo archive with the United States Department of Energy, along with a caption written by the curator. The Russians had told him that the image cost the life of its photographer, who died immediately of radiation sickness. Since then, this apocryphal tale has circled the English-speaking internet many times over, along with other fables to the effect that the Corian mass is somehow still melting through the concrete in the plant's basement, despite being located six meters above ground level while crumbling to dust. The photographer who actually took this photo was named, if he's still alive then he will be in his 90s, Valentin Obodzinski, a department head from the Institute of General and Nuclear Physics. Obodzinski was born in the Stalin era, as in 1937 his father, the general of a tank brigade, was shot for political crimes. The family then moved to Odessa, where Obodzinski's mother remarried, enabling her and her son to change their names and shed their association with an enemy of the people. In Odessa, Valentin's half-brother Valery would eventually become a well-known stage singer attached to Odessa's criminal underground. In a strange coincidence, Valery died on April 26, 1997, the 11th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. Obodzinski later recalled an experience as an employee of the Kachatov Institute in 1971, working in the control room of a research reactor not far from Moscow. When an explosion rocked the building, eight people died immediately. Obodzinski received a potentially lethal dose of radiation, and only one other person in the room with him survived. After his recovery, he could no longer take part in nuclear experiments and worked as a photographer and videographer for nuclear enterprises instead. When the Chernobyl reactor exploded, Obodzinski was formally forbidden from taking part in liquidation efforts due to the high dose he had already received. Despite this, he spent three month long tours at Chernobyl between April 1986 and 1993, which included numerous flights to photograph the reactor from a helicopter. After taking the first photograph of the elephant's foot upon its discovery in December 1986, Obodzinski's colleagues forbade him from making a return trip to capture colour photos and sent him home to Moscow. He would eventually suffer from arrhythmia and blood vessel problems in his legs, likely the result of high doses from walking around in contaminated corridors. After several operations, his condition required the amputation of his right leg. Russian President Boris Yeltsin later awarded Obodzinski with the Order for Bravery for his work in nuclear science. In 2007, he was also finally able to obtain a decent prosthesis. Personally, I find this story rather more compelling than that of an unlucky photographer who took one shot and died. Over the course of his second career, Obodzinski took more than 20,000 photos.